mean, getting sniping out anything is pretty pretty good there. They didn't play for the uh, the nocturne move. I'm shocked. What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. So we have Makari. After the turn, runs from your hand to a random location if possible. So most of the time, she's just a free four power. And I was going to skip on this card, but I had like three keys and I was like, I'll, I'll roll one. I'll roll one. If we don't get her, then I don't care because I wanted the X-23 skin and uh, we got our first try. So, <laughs> hey, it's a card. It's certainly a card. It's really funny, though, to go from like such a fun, exciting card like Cersei and then have this boring card. <laughs> it's just like, She's not bad though. We did really well with this list. We're playing a surfer dump list. And yeah, we had like a 78% win rate. So let's just go over the deck really quick. Okay, so in case you don't know how, you know, discard surfer works, you have cards like strong guy, which benefit from um, having one or fewer cards in your hand. We have the uh, Lady Sif into Proxima Midnight, right? Because uh, Proxima is the highest cost card in your hand. So if you have Proxima, Lady Sif always hits her. Uh, you can get over the top with like some Forge Brood stuff or like Forge Dakin. And then one of the best cards I think in this list is Gambit. Gambit's been uh, taking us home. I mean, like there are instances where you want to play just like a sword master for the power, but I always roll a gambit just to see what I snipe. <laughs> and then, of course, you finish it off with like, uh, you know, whatever you want with surfer. And this list can get over the top without surfer. So if you like accidentally discard surfer, um, don't just retreat because you can still win the game. But it's easier just to show you how the deck works in action. By the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy, huh? Hey, it's just a click for you. It means the world to me. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, we get a free four power. Don't hate it. Um, well, we can play Lady Sif next turn. Uh, they're going to have Brood, so they're going to get White Hot Room. Although we have Brood. And we resolve first, so we get it. And then we can go Forge Lady Sif. No, we're playing the same deck. Okay. Well, I guess we go with our own strong guy. Problem is, I don't really want to dump anything yet, so we're just going to chill. I mean, not great, huh? We can play uh, Dakin, Swordmaster Gambit. And then hope they don't have Surfer. Or if they do, we win these two. I mean, we're adding a lot of power here. All right, let's see it. Looks like they might just have the Surfer, though. Oh, I forgot that I was supposed to play Gambit first. That's unfortunate. But luckily it hit one of our mids. So, uh, I mean, the strong guy Dakin Lane just pulled through here. That's my bad, though. I should have played uh, Gambit before Swordmaster. Okay, let's chill. Uh, 
I think we go forge in the black vortex, yeah? I mean, it's a pretty good black vortex. And maybe we go dig in here. And we can go brood blade. Discard the shard. I don't hate this. And since we have Proxima, we can just Lady Sif here. Okay, because we're pretty close here in power, I think I'm just gonna go Gambit Nocturne or <laughs> Gambit Surfer. I don't hate this at all. Not great. And we get a casserole. It's pretty close though. Victory. Um, yeah, I guess we chill. Unfortunate that Makari didn't land an altar of death, but we do have brood for that. Okay. Yeah, I think we brood here. That gives us the option to shut off Limbo with Nocturne if we need to. And then we can go Nocturne Dakin. And we can um, kill off the Shard and Altar of Death. I mean, these giant stats, though, are just brutal. <laughs> Okay, maybe we just forge strong guy. And they can still play into altar of death if they have uh watch my call it reality stone. Okay. Well, I think we're just going to roll a gambit. And we got to hit something gigantic. All right, let's see it. I mean, getting sniping out anything is pretty, pretty good there. They didn't play for the uh, the Nocturne move? I'm shocked. Or maybe they thought this was going to be big enough, you know? Okay, I guess we're chilling. I don't love the Triskelion. Especially when it doesn't give us any cards to play. <laughs> Do we just storm for the Lels? 
I can't play crossbones anywhere. So maybe we just roll a Lady Sif. Or do we play a strong guy? I don't know, man. I think maybe Lady Sif is better. Because we're going to get another turn to play here in the Muria. Unfortunate. Double limbo. That's not great for us. Wind aid my hand. And it didn't hit Proxima. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we go strong guy here. And they got this out of Triskelion, so I don't think they get super value from Daredevil. Are they also playing Surfer? Um, I might just go Lady Sif Dakin here. Although, I don't ever... I mean, I feel like this is better so I don't brick up. But if they have Wong, I'm in trouble. I mean... I feel like it's Gambit Surfer. Just to try to disrupt. They're gonna play three cards here. All right, let's see it. It's not enough. We still get there. Victory. Maybe Dakin wasn't the play because of the Mermaster Shard and I wasn't going to have enough cards. But uh, hey, sometimes you just get lucky, you know? We do have the Sif Midnight in hand, which is pretty, pretty spicy. And we have the Forge, which is also really good. Forge into uh, Brood Quantum Realm. I don't hate this. And then we have uh, Makari jumping out for free. Okay, so they're playing Zoo. I mean, her breaking up mid's not the worst. Um, I still think we just go Lady Sif here. So like, no matter what I do, I'm getting bricked. So I guess it, I mean, it doesn't matter where I play. So that's not great, because now a strong guy is pretty useless. We have, we just have so many cards in hand. Like, Swordmaster Surfer is probably our best shot, but I just, I always love trying to get the gambit, you know? <laughs> And if they, they're just going to have Gilgamesh here, right? So they win here. So I need to kill something off. 
Could just be coping, but I'm 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 rolling the gambit. Although if they move Jeff and play Gilgamesh mid, I might be in trouble. Wait. Ah, oh, and we got there. Oh, that's bad. I mean, this list doesn't rely on Surfer as much as other Surfer lists do, but still, you hate to see it. Wakanda's also not great for Gambit. Though we do get a... I guess we get a free 4 power here. Maybe we go Nocturne here, so we have the option of shutting off either New York or Wakanda. And if they're a move deck, then we're probably going to want to shut off New York. Uh, I'm just going to go Strong Guy, I guess. And we chill on the Blade. Maybe we do just Nocturne here. And then we can forge Gambit. And we have Pryo, so we have the potential to disrupt the uh, Elsa. Okay, we got rid of the Elsa entirely. <laughs> and they retreat. Let's go. Okay. I mean, not the best starting hand. I guess we just forge. Maybe forge into strong guy. Or if we get Brood off the top. Ah. <laughs> well, I think we rip the strong guy just to, to get rid of this nonsense now in case Aunt Maze rolls into Fisk Tower. Okay, so it didn't. That's pretty good. Although we are pretty bricked here. Um, so maybe we just Lady Sif. Lady Sif always hits Proxima. Wait, do we just win the Space Throne? No, they could have Jeff. If they have Jeff, we lose the Space Throne. Uh, I th I think we go Gambit over Swordmaster and take the 50-50 on discard. Because killing off one of their resources could be valuable. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's only really good if I hit Call Obsidian, right? Or if we hit something in the Space Throne so they can't win it with Jeff. Come on, Surfer off the top. Hmm. I mean, they could add more power mid 
with uh, blue uh, blue marble maybe. But maybe we just do this, put more power mid to try to roll all three locations. Or they just retreat. Okay. <laughs> so while playing this deck, we went 11 and three, which is a 78.6% win rate with a plus 15 cubes. And I mean, in infinite, that's really good, man. This deck felt really strong. Like I don't hate Makari as a card. She's uh, she's free power, but uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but because this deck is so easy to play and uh, you know, it's a surfer deck, so you can really just um get over the top with a bunch of extra power um yeah deck felt really really strong and um we're climbing with it so if you want to climb you have makari you have all the other cards try the deck out for yourself tell me what you think about it in the comment section below hey if you like this video why don't you click that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and anyway gg